Hey creators, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up reflection in your scene. It's just a few plugins, and you can do it all on the edit page in the free or the studio version, so let's get started. Okay, this is what I'm going to start with, and so basically I have a gradient in place here, and so it's just gonna be from dark to light. Uh, this is not necessary, I'm just showing you what I have set up here. And I have some lightning then on top of that. And I'm gonna show you in a future video how I put that together. That's using an external plugin. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is make sure the effects library is open on the upper left. And let's go down to toolbox titles and add a text plus on here. I'm just gonna slide this over to match my composition length. Turn off this lightning for now. And so let's just call this one resolve. And I'm going to make this a blue color. And I'm going to go to shading element number two. Enable that one. And I'm going to put a white outline around that text. I'm going to turn down the opacity down quite a bit. And go back to shading element one. I'm going to turn that opacity down too. So we can kind of see through that a little bit. I want to add an adjustment clip. This just makes it a little bit easier to control everything. We could apply everything to the text layer, uh, but I want to pick up everything else as well. So I want to pick up the text and this lightning effect that I put in here. So to do that, we need to go to effects and go to adjustment clip, drag and drop that as well. And so there's nothing in this adjustment clip currently. I need to add a couple of things. So we're going to go down here to open effects, go onto this search bar here, make sure it's open, click this little magnifying glass to find it. And we're going to go to mirrors, go ahead and drag that on to the adjustment clip. This is the built-in mirrors plugin. You can see it kind of did some weird stuff there. And go up here to the upper right, go to open effects, click on that. And we have reflected borders, enable mirrors, good. And so we want to just rotate this around. Let's do a negative 90. Okay, then we want to set the Y position down below the original text. And make sure that this flip checkbox is set. And so we can see our reflection down here. And get this set just below the original text here. And you can also do this on the screen if you have this pull down set to open effects overlay, then you can make these adjustments on screen here. But you can also do it in the, uh, the menu system here. That's looking pretty good. So now we're getting a nice reflection down onto this layer down here. Okay, so you can see this reflection does not look very realistic. It's very mirrored and we need to get a little bit of blur on there. So again, we're gonna go to our search bar and search for blur. We have a number of different options here in Resolve. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this Tilt Shift Blur, one of my favorites in Resolve. Go ahead and open up the controls by double left clicking on that. Make sure this open effects is still open. And we can set it on screen or use these pull downs. Okay, so what we really wanna do is have this, this blur set uh, to the strongest position, uh, the furthest away from our viewpoint. So if we set this Y position down, kind of to the edge of this, this text, we want to make sure it doesn't blend into the original text, though. We want that to be uh, fully non-blurred. Okay, so we can really focus in on our depth map here. The black area is going to be in focus and the white area is going to be out of focus. So what we wanna do is basically get the black area on the top and the white area on the bottom. And so to do that, we're gonna slide down our center down to the very bottom here. And then we wanna lower our focus sweep down as well. And then we need to up our in focus range up a bit and our near blur range. We wanna make this kinda of tight and then we will make some adjustments here. Okay, so let's take a look at that. We need to come down just a little bit more. Okay, so that's a little bit too much down here. So we can make adjustments right here. Okay, 
Yeah, so once we get the adjustments set, I think that looks like a pretty good result for as much time as we spent on it. So the last thing I wanna do is place a floor level on top of all of my other footage to just give it that little bit extra. We'll start by going to the generators and I'm going to lay on a solid color layer on top of all the other footage. And I will go to the cropping settings and slide the top crop down. In my case, it'll be just over 600 something like 603. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this and keep it organized. I'm gonna call it floor. Next, I will go to the color settings and I wanna get that a little bit closer to the horizon line in the existing footage. And that for me is a little bit darker of a blue color. I can go ahead and screen pick or I can select it on my own. And then I need to lower the opacity down of this layer. And in my case, I'm gonna get it just over 60. So somewhere between 50 and 70 is probably where you need to be, depending on how bright your scene is. But I'm going to get it a little over 60, about 66. And so you can see that makes a huge difference on this reflection on this footage. So looking at the before and after, for me, this is a very nice finishing touch for this reflection. Yeah, and so that's a quick way in Resolve to add a reflection to your footage. You can do some titles and other things quick and easy, putting this reflection in there and just working on the top half, creating what you want with text and effects, and then reflecting that from the bottom. And I've got another tutorial I'm going to add to this tutorial where I'm going to create a kind of a, a water wave effect down at the bottom here. That's a little bit more complex. You have to do it a little bit different and spent some time in Fusion to make that work, but I will put that out later. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys to create some nice effects for titles and intros. If you have any questions about this video, please post them in the comments and I'll try to get those answered for you. Hey, thanks out there for watching today and everybody take care out there.